God bless you. How's it going? My name is Mario Altogado Jr., also known as First Love Drummer. It's been like four, mon uh, four months that I haven't done uh, any drumming session or any uh, practice session. You know, I meant to do it, but like uh, for winter season comes on, yeah, I think I'm not going to have the time to do it. And plus, uh, I have nowhere else to practice. But like, you know, I want to thank Daniel for allowing me to be over here. You know, it's just him and I, but right now he's not going to be in it. Because like, you know, right now I'm going to do the instruction video, how to set up your kit. Now, keep this in mind, I say how to set up your kit, not how to set up the right way. All right, there are many people who like to set up the drum kit uh, any way they like based on their, uh, their profile, the way how comfortable they are. Back uh, like around the 70s, they um, set up the kit, especially the toms like separately or just in different angles. But as for me, I don't like, I'm like the average size. I like to uh, set the, uh, the toms slight, only a little bit slanted, not that straight, uh, not too straight, but a little bit slanted. Because if I put it too slanted like that, but, and then I'll be afraid that I might break the drum heads. And you, you can see it uh, according with the Tama Rockstar right here. I used to set it like that. But then now I'm like the average size and I've, I'm more comfortable setting up a little bit straight. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to set up your kit. So right now we're going to start off with the uh, bass drum right here. Um, keep this in mind. You don't want the hoop touch the ground because one, you're going to start kicking the bass drum and then the bass drum is going to start to slide and you don't want to scratch the hoop, all right? Keep this in mind. You want to leave it at least a quarter inch or maybe half an inch, all right? If you can see it right here, you can see like a little spaces right here. That's how I keep in mind. As well as that time on Rockstar as Daniel has set it up right there. So keep that in mind. And over here, so I'm going to set up with my double bass pedal. Right here, the PDP. One of these days, I'm gonna upgrade it to the Pro. Right now, it gave up on me. <laughs> and Daniel, you could left whatever you want, man. Let him out. <laughs> so right now, I'm gonna adjust it by sitting down on the stool. Like I said, I'm like average size. They're depending on the people's size. If they're like, they're like small or very tall. Depend on um, you know how comfortable they are, but as for me, I don't. I mean, I like to keep the drums like a little bit close, like almost cramping, not too cramped. Otherwise, you know, I might you know mess up everywhere else. I don't want to hit anywhere else, like uh, like the hoops or anything. I don't want to mess up any or with the other musicians' uh, player. Otherwise, I'd be the blame that I screwed up with the music. All right, so let's get back uh, where I'm at with the double bass pedal. So all you gotta do is uh, place the pedal to the hoop. Now keep this in mind, right here most of the drums doesn't have any foam. So I recommend you put the foam on top of the hoop. So then you could just uh, apply the clamp onto the hoop along with the foam. Otherwise you might cause the damage. All right, and as for me, I'm gonna tighten up, not too tight. So that way the bass pedal doesn't slide off slide off the drum of the bass drum or it doesn't scratch off the hoop as you can as you can see right now um, my mistake is if you look all these spots right here I set the hoop the other way and then somehow the uh, drum heads make the mark on the hoop and I tighten up on the bass drum so that was my mistake make sure the flat surface if you could if you could take a look on the other side the flat sur the flat surface on the hoop make sure it's facing towards the drum head not the round all right so keep that in mind now we're going to set up with the snare drum as i have right here i give credit to brother daniel right here for taking to uh, another road trip in guitar center and I just bought myself a Pearl S3 uh, 930. So, heavy duty and I am impressed. And I really like it. Only thing is, like I said, I'm, I'm like, like every size. So it depends how I set in my hoop. 
I want to keep, I want to split my leg a little bit open so then I could adjust my snare drum like so. Daniel recommended not to uh, tighten not too much. It's like what he, uh, what you said, uh, you had to keep it loose. Loosen it up once in a while. Once in a while, yes. Because then you'll have hard where the, yeah. the knots won't tighten. The last vid yeah, the last video I did is um, my PDP straight straight symbol stand has a lot of dent to it because it was my mistake. I had uh, I pressed too tight to it, and the only thing I didn't like is they they should put a foam onto the clamp so it doesn't make too much dent. All right, keep that in mind. You had to find something else, so then it doesn't make too much damage. As for now, right now, I'm just gonna show you how to set it up. What? Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna have that too much time. How to set it up the way I like it. But you know, this is the way how you're gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna say this is the way how you do it, but it's the way uh, how comfortable I am. Like so. But because I have a double bass pedal, the next thing I'm gonna set up with is the hi hats. So let's bring all the hi hats right here. It's right on my left. Here I have the PDP Concept by DW, a two-legged hi hat stand. So honestly, I wanted to get all the PDP uh, collections, all heavy duty. But after I, I figured out the CB900 series or the symbol uh, straight stand 900 series is discontinued. So now my plan is to get all the hardware from Pearl but heavy duty. Okay, so so far this is how comfortable I am setting up the base pedal and the hi-hats. So then right now I set up the, the snare drum like at least on the bottom of my stomach so then I could hit the snare drum. I could adjust it a little bit but I just don't want to make sure uh, I don't want to hit the stick between the uh, the head and the hoop right here because I might damage it. Alright so that's uh that's all three so now let's move on with the toms. First things first the most important to hold the tom is you have to have the tom holder which did I put it? Oh great <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, yeah, let's start with the, oh, here it is. Now, normally, this ain't my original Pearl Tom holders. These are Gibraltar 3x12, I believe, or 8x7, I think. If I'm not mistaken, 7x8, I'm gonna put the link under the description box, but these are ball arm Gibraltar Tom holders. So, let's uh, set them up, shall we? Now, one thing you should know, this part right here is I don't know it's also known as memory lock. If you look at it right here over your bass drum, you see that uh, the little uh, spot right here, or I should say uh, yeah. the gap right there. That's where you're gonna slide in your tom holders, and actually this belongs right here because that's where I'm gonna put my uh, 13 inch. Okay, so here it is. You see that gap right here. That's where the memory lock is gonna slide in through. This memory lock will save you plenty of time. You don't, ha you're not gonna have any trouble because without the memory lock, then you're just gonna disassemble and then reassemble your drum kit. Then, and then you might forget how exactly you had, uh, how you set up your drum kits. But in this case, this can save you time. And honestly, I don't know how is it my memory lock get up in the other way around. It's not supposed to be this way. Yeah, it's this way. Oh no. Man, what the heck? It's this way, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Confusion strikes Mario today. <laughs> it's been a while I haven't played my drum kit. That's why I can... I keep forgetting how to put it up. You know what? There's another mistake first. I should put the toms on first, then the tom holder. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed yeah. off everything. I'm a terrible teacher. Oh, no, but you know what fine. I mean. You know what I mean. Fine. You so could I'm do gonna... either way. Put, put the toms on or on the on the arms before you put them on the drum or you can put them on separate it all depends yeah it's what daniel say your preference yes it's the preference so i'm going to start with the 12 inch tom right here now the difference between uh the 12 and the 13 is that the 12 inch tom is 12 by 9 and the 13 is 13 by 10. 
So the 13 by 10 is a little bit longer than the 12, 12 by 9. They also have uh, pitches, deeper pitches, the bigger yeah, the size. different pitches, yeah, and different sizes. There are also different kind of sizes like the fusion, uh, fusion kit, the rock kit, and the standard kit. In this case, I got. Uh, I already told Daniel. Uh, I asked Daniel what kind of kit does this drum kit? Uh, this drum kit? Or the the church have? And to me, he had a rock kit because I I believe he told me it was 10, 12, and 16. That's what you said. Yeah. And then he said, and I yeah. To be honest, I like the uh, rock kit better. But mostly when I come to visit other churches, I always I always see a standard kit. I don't know about you, but I do always kind of uh, see a standard kit every time. Yes, they're, they're really good kits. Yeah. So here I have the 12, and now let's set up with the 13. Now this one, I finally got the uh, 13 inch. I ordered it from eBay around $54, it's pretty used. I say that because it has the scratches right here. Right here, these scratches, and all some kind of dirt spot right there. I meant to clean it. But I guess it's kind of too late unless my dad could do uh, match the colors to it. It's like a creamish color. It's not white, guys. It's like a creamish. It is cream. Why is not that cream? The only thing was this creamish is the uh, old model Tama Rockstar. Yeah. That that was more creamier than mine. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. And it's cream as in color, not as whipped cream. Or like the donut. <laughs> or donut cream. <laughs> the cocoa. Or hair butter. cream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, one thing, uh, there's another thing uh, why this drum is used uh, originally, uh, uh, I suppose I have the original wing nuts right here, but that's not the original wing nuts. So, I meant to replace it. So right now, I'm going to tighten up as best as much, as much as I want. There you go. See, right now, if you, if you look at this way over here, See, I kept, I kept the tongs like not, uh, not too slanted, not too, not too straight. I want it just right, the way I like it. But if you look at it right here, this 13 by 10 is touching to the clamp of the bass drum right here. But if I play it too hard or too much, then yeah, I should adjust it. You should do that too, if you want to set up this way. But most, uh, I see like some other drummers are like, you know, to be honest, being picky at all, you know, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to keep it slanted, they wanted to, they want it straight, you know, to them, they get serious. I mean, is there pro, is, is there a personal choice? I mean, you know, they don't have to get serious and no. But as for me, I like to keep it straight, so that way I don't, I don't have to, like, you know, like I said before, if I wanted to put it more slanted, then the only thing I'm afraid is like, somehow I might puncture the drum heads, you know, really hard. So I like to keep it like this, you know, it's, you know, why not? It's all preference, guys. Yeah, Everybody it's all has a preference. Yeah, it's preference. It's your personal choice, yeah. whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And besides, I don't want, I don't want to hide behind the toms, all right? So <laughs> most of the people keep staring at me like, or like, the question is, why am I hiding behind the drums? Well, who set up the drum you kit? You got know? stage fright. It's stage fright. All right, so we're gonna start with the floor tom. Okay, so like I said earlier, that I'm a, I'm like the average size. So right now I'm gonna keep like as close as much as close as possible. So like so. See, I have my floor tom right here. Daniel set it off for me. Actually, that was pretty good. You did real good, brother. Really thank you for that. I am a good drummer. Yes, you are. <laughs> See, I have right here, but as for the snare drum, I wanted to keep it uh, even between the snare drum and the floor tom for my, for my size. In this case, so let's adjust a little bit. Small tweakings. Yeah, small tweakings. You want it? You always wanted to make sure that you're very comfortable if. the way uh, the way you want it, all right. But as for me, the uh, the way I want it is the way uh, I like because I'm comfortable to play uh, like that around, not to hide my face. And last but not least, let's set up uh, uh, to set up the symbols. Okay, Daniel has a lot of symbols right there. Honestly, those. Two 18-inch uh, cymbals right there is blocking my face and whenever it comes to me play the drums. In this case, 
now I'm just hiding myself in front of everybody. It's all preference, guys. You can hide your face like me, or you can play right out like Mario. The only thing I'm gonna hide my face is my lips are swollen, and I'm not, I'm not too pretty at this time. <laughs> all right. As as all you know that I don't have time to uh, set up for the rest of my symbols, but I'm just gonna show you uh, what I'm gonna do right here. I keep in my my hi hats, oh, my crush, I should say. Like at least right there, close enough to the uh, to the toms right here, or like I'm setting the distance between the legs of the stand and the bass drum spurs right here, so that way, uh, to me, I could align it right there, so then I could have sufficient space. If you look at it closely, right here, these are the memory locks as well. You could like adjust it any way you want, and then. Once you already adjusted, then you got to do is just tighten up the memory locks right here. That's it. But I'm going to keep it right there because I just I just, just set it up and I had it with uh, four crash. I have like one of a 16 inch crash on my left side, 18 inch crash over here. And then I have another 18 on my right side and a 16 on my right side. So in this case, I have like four symbols except I have two stands and another two boom clamps right there all right but in this case like i said i don't have um i not i don't have sufficient time to uh set it up the rest of the symbols but i'm just gonna set up what i have right here all right as for the next one right here this another stand right here it's actually a boom stand but i'm gonna keep it as uh as a right uh straight stand for now so as i told you before i could keep my distance between the bass drum spurs and uh, the brace leg of the uh, of the uh, cymbal boom stand right there. So that means I can hit it like that, like a little bit or wide open. See, so then I, that way I could like hit it all the times and hit it, uh, the cymbals with distance, great distance. And last but not least, for the right cymbal, I like to keep it on top of the uh, of the floor tom. Well, right now I'm gonna set it up just a little bit because it's way too close to the floor tunnel. Right here, there you go. Thanks to Daniel for upgrading my leg. You know, he changed mine to his and now he gave it to me. So in this case, I appreciate it, brother. Now I'm very happy. Now as, right now I'm gonna sit right here and to see whether I'm comfortable or not. Okay. So like I said, this is, gonna, this is your preference. You could do whatever you want. You could adjust any way you want, depending how comfortable you are. So in this case, my right symbol right here, I could put it as close as I want, but not too close. You wanna keep in mind, keep, uh, keep the distance, your right symbol, between the right symbol and your thumb, uh, your 13 inch thumb, because somehow the edge of the symbol it's a little bit closely touching to the hoop right here next to the tom, uh, the tension right if you can look at it closely right here you don't want to mess you don't want to mess up your symbol nor your hoop so I could just adjust it a little bit and right there see I have my my distance now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna jump I'm gonna play a little bit to see if I'm comfortable enough to play the drums so I'm gonna get my pair of sticks as for Daniel let me see. I'm gonna squeeze through. Yeah, I hate, yeah, I'm gonna have to squeeze through. Let's see. In this case, I'm gonna start with my Vic Firth 5B sticks right there right now. I'm playing too much. <laughs> he well, needs one. He need uh, new ones. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade it to the sh uh, to the Showdown stick. If only they have 5B, as much as like the Hickory stick. Alright, so let's see if I'm comfortable enough as it is. Actually, if you come this way, uh, if you just take a look at this way right now, because earlier I said I'm on average size, but right now I could adjust the double pedal because one thing is I have my hi hats a little bit far away from my left side. So let's do that, shall we? Right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep it right there, the distance between this pedal and that pedal right here of my snare stand. 
So let's lock and secure. Okay, as for my hi hats, right there. See, right now I'm a little less. I'll do the. I'll do, uh, how do I say? I'll let the setup of the drums do the judge to see how comfortable I am. So like I said, uh, it's what me, uh, Daniel and I said is your preference. You could set up, set it up the way you ever, uh, however you want it. Uh, that makes you more comfortable. Like I said, like some people adjust the times like, like split and a little bit slanted. Like you're going like this or you're going like that. Honestly, I don't know how can you play, but if you play like that, then you know what? You're good. <laughs> you're like, like the pro or the experts. Well, but this this is it. This is all I got. Um, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't have the time to uh, to set uh, to set up for the rest of my symbol. But this is this is the only uh, video I can do. Uh, this is how how to set up your kit. You know, you start from the bass drum, somehow with the uh, double pedals, your hi hats, your snare drums. You want to uh, keep a distance your with your uh, double pedal and your bass and your snare drum. And then you start with the toms. You start uh, attaching the uh, the holders to the uh, to the toms first, and then and then attach it to the bass drum. And then lastly, you gotta you gotta do is just set up your um, your floor tom, the distance between your leg and the floor toms, or the the shell and your legs. All right. You, if it's if it's too crampy for you, you can set up like how far you want. If you have long arms, then yeah, I recommend it, you know, like to move a little bit to the side because like you just like have the longest arm. But I don't. I'm not. I'm just having an average size. Well, this is it for now. Uh, until next time. The only uh, for the next for the next uh, video I'm gonna do for the next time. My biggest plan is to teach you how to play the basic rhythm. Both Danny and I we're gonna be do the teaching. But before that, he's gonna do an, uh, another, uh, how do I say, another video uh, that he upgraded to, to the Tama Rockstar series. Yeah, you will, you will. <laughs> next time, next, next time. Yeah, next like I said, time. next time. It's a next time, all right, so. Uh, so this is it, uh, please don't forget uh, to subscribe me. You can look it up on YouTube, look for uh, First Love Drummer. And you could, look, or you could go on Facebook, look for uh, First Love Studio. That uh, that page right there, just hit the like button, and then I could provide as many videos as I can. All right. But until now, thank you for watching. I want to thank Brother Daniel having me over here. You know, it was our plan. You know, but he kind of feel bad that I come here more often. So one of these days, he's gonna come over to my church or my house, and we could practice together. We're gonna show you guys how to pl uh, how to play the drums, the bass, whatever whatever uh, we have to offer. Thank you all for watching and God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.